I cannot tell you how many times I've been in a mall. I'm just shopping and next time you hear sometimes I think of and then everybody's oh, yeah. like vibing together in like oh, a store. No. Collectively vibing. Okay, as long as they're not sick of it. Okay, we gotta talk heat waves. How could we not? Yeah. Massive, massive yeah. hit. So with reference to the lyrics in the song, what are you looking forward to the most this coming middle of June? Oh yeah. God, I forgot it's nearly, it's it nearly is. June already. That's incredible. We're like halfway through May. Um it's my birthday. Uh, happy birthday in advance. Of June. Yeah. Happy birthday! Yeah. Oh my god. And what else is happening? Oh, we might be releasing some more new, new music. You heard it here first. That's all. I can't say anymore. That's okay. it. Again. Any summer plans, summer vacation plans, or does vacation and Dave not go well together? I don't, I don't have any vacations, but I've got one week of like off time where I'm just going to chill at home. Me and my dog, I can just like chill <laughs> at home. So holiday for me. Yeah. Is staying at home with the dog, of with course. The dog, yeah, because otherwise, after, for work, I'm traveling all the time and don't get to see my friends on holiday. I'd stay at home and I'd see my friends with the dog. That's so real. That's so human of you. Yes, yeah, we love that. Everyone else's holiday. Speaking of your music, yeah, I have this friend. She's a massive, massive fan, right? Oh, really? She, we, we were talking about, you know, what should I ask Dave and I meet him? Glass Animals has this very distinctive sound, I want to say, and this is what she had to say, okay? It's like you've had a couple drinks, you're high on a buzz and okay. it's skipping in a sunflower garden where it's sunny but not hot and it's raining gumballs. That's how she would describe your Whoa. music. That kind of sounds like, oh, basically paradise? That's a very, I take that as a compliment. It is a compliment. I'll take it as a compliment. How did you guys find this glass animal sound? Because nobody else out there has the same thing as you guys. I, you know what? It's, a, it's really hard for me to answer that question because I don't. To me, it's just like yeah. It's like my voice. It's, I don't know. It just I started writing music, and that's what it sounded like. It wasn't like I kind of searched for a new sound. <laughs> I just I like certain sounds, and they kind of steered the way the albums ended up being. When you guys start writing songs with the writing process, how does it normally go? Normally goes like I. Uh, panic and think, oh, I've got nothing to write about, nothing to say for a long time, for like six months. <laughs> and then I will be like, oh, I have one idea for an album, and then I'll write half of it and throw it away. And then I'll be like, oh, I think I have another idea for an album, and it'll kind of simmer in my brain. Idea. <laughs> Let and it then, cook. <laughs> yeah, and then one day I just sit down and throw it up, and like this album was like that. I kind of, it took about two and a half weeks and I just wrote it. I didn't leave the house. Just did it in two and a half weeks very fast. Are sad songs or happy songs easier to write? I think that you need a balance. Mm. Sad songs are, I actually think they're a little bit easier to write, but what's difficult is getting a kind of angle of optimism mm. within them. An angle of optimism yeah. within them. You can't just be sad. It's like it's easy to write just a sad song. It's really like like a, for a glimmer of hope. Is that yeah? It? You need a little bit of like hope in there. Otherwise, it's too much. Otherwise, it's just everyone's crying the whole time. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of true. Yeah. That's, right. Yeah. Maybe that's why everybody loves Glass Animals so much. Maybe I don't know. It's just a little hopeful. Glass Animals. Everybody loves you guys, but. You guys, as musicians yourselves, you guys have your own idols. You have people that, you know, other artists that you love. Yeah. Who is one artist, dead or alive, that you would hope is a fan of Glass Animals? Oh my god. Oh, I got you thinking. <laughs> I am going to go for Lana Del Rey. Oh, she's alive. You, she could absolutely she's be alive. a fan. Yeah. She's and kicking. Actually, someone sent me a video of her singing. Songs How did you guys react? I was I cried. No, I did you crying. actually? I know, but I was really flat. I was really flat. We would love a collab, you know, Glass Animals and Lana Del Rey. That would be pretty cool. Okay, okay, just little dropping hints here. All right. Maybe I'll ask. <laughs> okay, new album. Total ten tracks on it. Yeah. Out of all of it, what is one that you're most excited for fans to hear? Oh, good question. I really like the last song. Album. Okay. Lost the box in the ocean. It's an album about space. Well, it's, well, it's not about space, it's about love, but um, it's kind of set in space. You're going to go up into space through the course of the album. Oh. And then you kind of land back on Earth and lost the ocean. So you land back on Earth and realize everything's going to be okay. 
Pineapples, yeah? Oh, yeah. Pineapples, we gotta say this. This has been like glass animals lore. It is kind of the mascot for the group now. Mm -hmm. So I gotta bring in some Singapore culture, all right? In Singapore and in Chinese culture, pineapples kind of signify good luck. Okay, so if you could, if you don't mind, I've got a little something for you. Is that what this is? That's I was right. So what during it was. Chinese New Year, we wow. normally give out pineapple tarts, but it's yeah. not Chinese New Year right now, so I couldn't find those not in season. So I got these for you instead. This is pineapple oh, cake. Oh, thank you so much. This is for you. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna have you look at the camera. We're gonna go huara, cause that kind of is like good luck. Oh yeah. So this is bringing good luck for okay. the new album. Okay. Shall we do that together? One, yeah. two, two, three. Huara. Huara. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Dave from Glass Animals, we'll see you in Singapore sometimes. Yeah, we'll be there soon. We'll see ya. Kiss 92, all the great songs in one place. This is amazing, I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, really. I love cake and I love pineapples. See, there we go, perfect combination. Mine.